Are you ready to look up? What are the most and best celestial events of the year about to light up the sky? The Perseid meteor shower reaches its peak next week. Here's what it looks like. But this weekend might be good luck peak viewing for you. Let's find about all of it from our senior science reporter, Nicole Mortellaro. Welcome back. Nice to see you. It's been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> this is always special. We talk about this every year. The Perseids are here. Why is it so special? Well, because it's the best meteor shower of the year. And so it's be why is it the best? Because it's the meteors you can see per hour. It's roughly about 100 meters per hour under ideal conditions, though. So I want to... We'll, you know? we'll come back so, to that. We'll come back to that. But also, I mean, so just to let you know, I mean, we get meteor showers when the Earth passes through a stream of debris left over from a comet sometimes an asteroid, and in this case, it's Comet 109P T Swift Tuttle. And so now Earth is swinging through that debris, and the, the, the little debris that comes in is burning up in the atmosphere. So the great part about the, the Perseids, though, is that they produce bright, bright meteors. And this is why people head out to, you know, mm -hmm. dark sky locations to try and catch this one. So this is what's happening right now. I do love it. We were talking about this, how some some cities, communities, really actively promoting their dark sky for tourist purposes yes. now. So this yep. would be a great place to watch these. But the caveat, maybe not so much this year. Why? Well, a couple of things, of course, the wildfire smoke. That's one of the, the biggest, well, not the biggest, but it's a big deterrent like it's not you're not going to see as many it's going to obscure things a yeah, little bit in the yeah sky. it's, it's like cloud cover right but the big thing is the moon it will be 84 percent illuminated so and it rises around the same time and around the same area as the constellation perseus which is where it looks like the meteors are coming from so that's a bit of a downer it will make it so you can only see the brightest meteors okay so maybe so maybe not as many as we might have seen in previous years. Exactly. But that doesn't mean pass, take a pass, right? Exactly. So you can still see them because, as I mentioned, the Perseids bring bright meteors, even fireballs. But one of the coolest things is earth grazers. Now, earth grazers, um, they, they, so when you see meteors, they're coming in and they're burning up in our atmosphere. But earth grazers actually skim the atmosphere. And so instead of getting this quick flash, you can see it going across the sky and it looks like a firework. I saw one last year and it just blew my mind. I literally, I was like, wait, was that a fire? Oh no, it was an earth grazer. So in order to go, like, please go out, mm -hmm. keep the moon to your back, like, behind you mm -hmm. and just look up and enjoy it. That sounds like a very good plan for this weekend. I will do so. Maybe you will too. Nicole, thank you. And there's lots more to read. Nicole has a piece up on CBC, our website, and on the CBC News app.